As fentanyl overdoses continue to rise, many are concerned about accidental exposure leading to an overdose. I spoke to Public Health Director Tammy Riley to learn the truth and risks of accidental exposure. Fentanyl is a very powerful uh, opioid drug. Um, you know, we find fentanyl, you know, as used illicitly on the streets, um, sometimes contaminated in other um, drugs. Um, recently, there's been some concern about fentanyl in uh, a commercial setting uh, for um, certain employees who handle currency or have a lot of physical touch exchange uh, with the public. And uh, we just wanted to address, you know, uh, fact versus fiction with fentanyl and um, where the dangers are and where they are likely not. Um, fentanyl is very difficult to be absorbed through the skin. So it is highly unlikely that someone would have uh, overdose symptoms simply through touch. The Pike County Health Department invites you to come see them for your back to school and sports physicals, as well as vaccines. We are the vaccine experts. So for your back to school physicals, sports physicals, or vaccines, visit the Pike County Health Department today. While fentanyl is the primary cause of fatal overdoses in the United States, there has never been a reported case of an overdose from simply touching the substance, whether in powder or pill form. Where the, uh, where the risks uh, really are found is when individuals have fentanyl uh, contamination on their hands and they touch their mouth, nose, eyes, and the face area, and then it can be absorbed uh, clearly through the mouth, the nose, or the eyes. So uh, individuals, you know, who are working in the public, just wash their hands frequently. And alcohol and other chemicals based in hand sanitizer can actually cause uh, a quicker absorption of fentanyl. So uh, warm water and soap, just simple hand washing techniques is what's recommended. Um, and it's just a good public health practice to wash your hands frequently. Don't touch your um you know, eyes, nose, mouth, uh, when, you know, you're at any time when, without washing your hands. But certainly if you're working in the public and, and you're, there's a high touch, you know, areas um, or an exchange with the public. For more information, go to Pike County Health Department on Facebook. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.